Hey gamers, Rick here for Painting Happy Little Minis. We got our special guest and co-host. <laughs> I know I've been away a lot, but hey, I'm back. <laughs> we, we are back. Uh, cool. So welcome to Painting Happy Little Minis. I'm Rick. I'm Dave. And today we're going to be doing some terrain crate uh, pieces. Yep. Um, I'm working on, I think it's like a summoning circle. Summoning circle or circle of protection. Circle maybe. of protection. Could be either I'd, I'd summon things from it myself. I would too. Yeah, like sure. a demon. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Maybe if, accident if Ac accidentally. Yeah. It'd accidentally be a demon. I'd yeah. try and summon like pizza. Ooh, pizza, but yes. The, the demon would come out. You get the Noid. <laughs> remember the Noid? No. Dang it. You do that. You guys it. remember the Noid, right? It'd, come, it'd pop out and be like, you know, don't let the Noid take your pizza or mess up your. What was it, Domino's? When was that? Uh, when let, did you come to the States? Let me guess, before I came to this country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it may have been that, so you weren't born yet. Right, okay. Yeah, it could be I that. think it was like the late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. 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 We didn't have dominoes in Australia then. Really? Yeah. Do you have it there now? I'm not sure. I was going to say traitors. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we had Pizza Hut. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So yeah, uh, we're recovering a little bit from the the weekend, the long holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dave sure. was at the Nova Open. I was at Dragon Con. It was also kind of cool. I saw a few people at Dragon Con that recognized uh, us and from the show and stuff. And you said you saw yep. some people saw too. Saw some folks at uh, at Nova Open who uh, enjoyed the show. And I I said, Are you watching the same one that I am? <laughs> <laughs> But they enjoy it nonetheless. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. It is. It is. It's. It's a little weird, though. You know, for me. Oh, totally. And I'm. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm, you're. You're so modest. It's like. It, <laughs> it's just. Just, it's just odd. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just different. But we yep. do appreciate everybody that watches, and if you do see us, we, stop us and take pictures. We like to take pictures with everybody. I didn't um, say that. I do. Okay. Right here. I just like taking pictures in general. <laughs> I could have been a model for all you know in my past life. I'm sure you were. Yeah, like a foot model. That's why, you know, oh, right, I'm okay. suffering these days. Right, okay. <laughs> just so you guys know, Nick is here, Natasha's hey. here, Peter, Michael, Carrie. Carrie does note, I can't believe y'all are back in studio after your respective weekends at cons. Yeah, we, uh, we, and we leave it tomorrow morning to, yep. to another event. <laughs> um, Never ending story. Yeah, this month is a is a, a taskmaster uh, in regards to going to, to uh, conventions and events. So. Yeah. Also, Michael asks, "Where are you from in Australia?" Where am I from? Yeah. I'm from a town uh, called Newcastle, on the uh, east coast, about two hours north of Sydney. In the good old New South Wales. That's the state name. Nice. Rob Decker says good evening from the Netherlands. Nice. Oh, cool. Excellent. Love the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yes. I've only ever been to Amsterdam. Of course. Party town, right? Me too. No, I did not do <laughs> it. <laughs> you're like, with I went to the Tulip Museum. <laughs> wow. No, that actually sounds nice too, though. <laughs> I like the architecture there. Yep. From the inside of the cafe or the outside? A little bit of both. <laughs> Excellent. It's been ages yeah. since I went to Amsterdam. I've only been there once. Cool. Yeah. It was like 25 years ago. Uh, ago. Man. I think one of those are 96, maybe? Mm. It's a long cool. time. Also, James says, howdy, everyone, and welcome back. You hey, James. James. So what did you guys all get into this weekend? We're going to talk a little bit more about Dragon Con and Nova Open here. But tell us what you guys got going on uh, and how you spent uh, your weekend. We'd love to hear about it. Simon says, hello from the UK. Nice. And Michael says, I've been to Oz four times. Townsville was my favorite place. Which place? Townsville. Uh, Townsville? Okay. Yep. Yep. In FNQ. Cool. FNQ, is that derogatory? No, that's Far North Queensland. Oh, my bad. Yep. Far North. Far North Queensland. It just, sounds, it just yep. sounds bad. 
So Queensland is, um, it's not the largest state, it's probably the second largest state. Okay. And take you about sort of three days to drive from top to bottom. Okay. Or bottom to top, because nobody starts out at the top. Right. Is it just a dead zone up there or something? Yeah, it's just a, a long way from anything. Okay, makes sense. I can dig but, it. Uh, yeah, Townsville's really nice. No. Townsville and Cairns are up toward the Great Barrier Reef. Okay. So I heard that's any, a thing. That is a thing. Still, just. <laughs> just a thing? Just a thing. <laughs> Natasha says, I was at uh, GexCon? Gex. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, GexCon for a gaming con. It was pretty cool. Board gaming and video. Yeah. Excellent. Whereabouts was that? Was that here in Baltimore? I don't, I'm not sure uh, where the gaming expo is. Gaming and Electronic Expo, I think it's what it's called. Okay. For, wait, that's what Gex means, I think. Michael said, I would love to go back someday and visit Perth. Okay, mm -hmm. yep. Oh, it's also in Virginia. Okay. GexCon. Gex. That makes sense. Yeah, Perth is really nice, too. But it's like 3,000 miles from... Everything? The East Coast. <laughs> Not is, everything, just is, is, where most is, people live. Oh, on the East yeah. Coast? Yeah. Okay. But no, Perth's cool. So I, just so y'all know, I'm painting a portal from the dungeon crate, or from the uh, terrain crates by Mantic Games. This particular piece I, was not in any of the actual terrain crates that we got from them. They had like a special little like add-on thing and it had the portal, the um, summoning circle or uh, circle protection um, and then it had like all the little uh, pieces you would find in like a wizard's laboratory. Right. So it was pretty cool. Excellent. Yeah. Now I'm, uh, so I'm painting the summoning circle. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to call it a circle of protection. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. You, can, you can stick with being protected by a circle. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and. I've got this, uh, I'm guessing it's like a little, what do you call it? A beer? A barrier? No, a beer, like B-I-E-R, I think. B-I-E-R? Yeah. I would call it an altar of sacrifice. Altar of sacrifice, it could be that as well. <laughs> Leon is quickly just gonna look that up. A movable, cof a movable frame on which a coffin or corpse is placed? Oh, then it would not be that. It would not okay. be that. Okay, that's what a beer like, is. More like a sarcophagus, I guess. And uh, this set of stakes, stakes and chains. Nice. Stakes and chains. chains. Yep, rather than steak and fries. <laughs> Go steaks and shake. No, I want steak and shake. <laughs> Carrie says, I need to get me a terrain crate. Yes. Yep. They're so good. Also, Nick says, this past weekend, I worked and went to a wedding. Somewhere in between, I painted a mimic. And this weekend, I'm playing the new Spider-Man game for the PS4, and my D&D &D group meets. Nice. Excellent. Oh, are you the, are you the DM, Nick? I wonder if he's going to kill people with that mimic. Oh, yep. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it, says Rick. Cut <laughs> them all. So as far as the Nova Open goes, we uh, yep. ma for many episodes leading up to it, we've talked about the um, charity. The charity ruffles, yep. Mm -hmm. So how did that all pan out? Uh, really well. Yeah. Really, really, really well. Uh, so we had uh, 22 different raffles. Uh, I think I mentioned that a few times before. Mm -hmm. uh, 22 different raffles, uh, ranging from single, single minis, small single minis, all the way up to like armies with 100 models in them, 100 okay. plus models, and the Warlord Titan, which is a huge, huge resin piece from uh, Forge World. Okay. Uh, it's part of uh, Games Workshop. So last year, with our summer raffles, we raised uh, 22,000 mm -hmm. thereabouts. And overall, with all the things that we do, um, earlier raffles earlier in the year, raffles mm -hmm. in the fall, silent auction at Nova Open as well, and the uh, Charitable Foundation Lounge. Okay. Uh, we raised about 51,000. What? Grand total last year. Okay. So this year, 
for the summer raffles alone, just for those 22 raffles, mm -hmm. almost $60,000. Wow, that yeah. is amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing that you guys were able to raise that much money, but it's truly amazing that there was enough generosity out there to get people to uh, participate because it's for such amazing causes. Yeah. You know, yeah. you said the Fisher House. Fisher House uh, Foundation. The, uh, what was the other two there? Um, Doctors Without Borders. Doctors Without Borders and Breast Cancer Research nice. Foundation. Yeah. So, yeah, um, very cool, very exciting. Uh, the Warlord Titan was won by uh, a gentleman in uh, Georgia. Okay. In, uh, well, I won't say exactly where, in case anybody but in raid his house. But, but in uh, Georgia. <laughs> in Georgia. Uh, and we're like, oh, okay, now we have to go and uh, start to pack this up, get ready to ship it with... Uh, UPS or nice. US, uh, USPS or something like that, uh, uh -huh. and one of the guys who does who paints for us as part of our sort of artist team mm -hmm. uh, said, "I live like forty five minutes away from that guy. I can drop it off." So we're like, "Quick, yes. quick, get it packed up." That's into awesome. Into his truck, which also happened, which was also happened to be a, a Nissan Nissan Titan. Oh Jesus, that's so, hilarious! It was hilarious. Delivered by Titan, delivered by Titan. Titan delivery, so pretty that's awesome. awesome. So we've been in touch with that guy this morning, and uh, hopefully we we'll get it all sorted. But yeah, it was fantastic. We had um, over oh, tickets were purchased um, by folks in more than forty countries. Wow! Uh, all fifty states uh, okay. and the district. All right. And all thirteen provinces of Canada. Wow. Dang. Well, even none of it. None of it, Canada? None of it, Canada. Yep. Nice. So, uh, yeah, so that was pretty awesome. That is amazing. Yeah. Loads and loads and loads of stuff. So, uh, we're still working out the numbers from the, the charity lounge, mm -hmm. um, from the silent auction, and we've got about, I think we're probably going to be up around 10 raffles for fall. Mm -hmm. Which will be October fifteenth through to November twenty fifth. Okay. Uh, and yeah, so I think those are the potential to hit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Six, six figures, which would be amazing. Yeah, that would amazing. be so good. That's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was definitely definitely cool. Uh, apparently, at the show, there were about three thousand people. Okay. Uh, which was a 50% increase from last year. Wow. Dang. About 2,000, maybe just over 2,000 last year. Um, so the, uh, of course, the Nova Open folks were incredibly excited. Of course. Yep. We had uh, about a 20% increase in the um, entries for the Capital, Capital Palette, which was the big painting competition there. Mm -hmm. And you were one of the judges, yeah? Uh, yep, I was one of the judges for that. So um, I think it's why my voice is still a little bit croaky. Not that I was sort of yelling right. or anything like that, but we're up incredibly late Saturday night. Yeah, you're saying that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we finished the judging at about 4 o'clock. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yep. Wow. And uh, Julie and the girls came down to stay. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> as I was crawling into bed at 4 a.m. trying not to wake anybody, I was like, I, I bet you my daughter's going to wake up at 6.30. Lucy's going to wake up at 6.30 and jump on the bed. Yep. Did she didn't. No. Okay. no. I'm not six, sure what time, what time they woke up. But I, I woke up at 8:30 when they came back in with uh, bearing gifts of Starbucks. Oh, glorious yeah, gifts of Starbucks! Glorious gifts of Starbucks, indeed. So that was awesome. Heck yeah, that is pretty cool. And uh, crazy. As far as like personalities there, because we know within the painting community there are personalities that exist. Yep. Um, who are some of the um, personalities of note? Uh, there were loads of uh, loads of awesome people, loads of awesome painters. Um, there was uh, who did we have? So Banshee, Alfonso Heraldas, who goes on. Okay. By Banshee online, it's a fantastic painter. He was there, and probably he probably worked about eight to ten hours a day running yeah. seminars. Dang. Yeah, yeah, they worked them hard at Nova for sure. Uh, Sam Lentz as well. Who's okay. A, Painter from Wisconsin. He won the best of show in the oh, wow. Capital Palette. Uh, he was also running classes. Uh, Rome Lepat uh, from a blog called Massive Voodoo. 
uh, Romans from uh, Germany. Oh, wow. Uh, he came over and he ran a whole bunch of classes, but he was also uh, one of the judges for the Capitol Palette. Uh, Matt DiPietro came over from Seattle. Matt used to um, be the uh, studio painter for Privateer Press. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, and he, some talent. he ran a bunch of classes and helped uh, judge. Um, friends of mine like uh, Damon Drescher and uh, actually good old Jeff Jenkins. All right. He's been with us uh, on the show quite a few times. Uh, hmm? Twice, right? Has it only twice? I'm sure it's like three times. Has it been three times? I think he's been on, been on here Once when, for you, Legion, when you've been away. And, yeah, one for Legion, right? Is that it? I don't know. Quite a few times. It should be more. <laughs> it should be more. <laughs> I hope it's more. Yeah. Jeff Jenkins, who has appeared on this show more than once. <laughs> more than once. Plenty of time. <laughs> Plenty of times. <laughs> and who has appeared on this show an insufficient number of times. <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, Vincent Venturella. Um, they were the guys from uh, Stiff Neck Studios. Uh, Stiff Neck Studios? Stiff Neck Studios. Uh, they take the pain out of painting. Nice. Yeah, that's their motto. So, um, the reason I'm not painting anything at the moment is I've got a whole bunch of stuff that's drying. So good. Yeah, this. But I can continue to talk as well. Then. So what other? <laughs> <coughs> so what was the winning model that the gentleman from Wisconsin submitted? Uh, it was a diorama uh, called Dimensional Bleed Through. Okay. And I had. Uh, Basically, on, on one side, it was like a medieval city, mm -hmm. uh, sort of medieval fantasy style city. Okay. Uh, with a, uh, a model from, one of the pinup models from Kingdom Death. Oh, nice. Uh, sort of ready with her sword out, ready to defend okay. reality. And on the other side was this sort of warped and twisted landscape with all of these crazy demons sort of marching towards, through, it. towards reality. Uh, cool. With this awesome background, a backdrop, kind of a, um, a little bit of a, like, Hieronymus Bosch kind of okay. feel. I think uh, that's what Sam said was the, uh, a little bit of inspiration for the piece. That's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely fantastic. But loads and loads and loads of great models. Did you get an opportunity to play anything? No. No? No. No, too no. busy? Yeah, I was, uh, either I was judging the painting, Mm -hmm. Or I was selling raffle tickets. I probably spent about uh, eighteen hours selling raffle tickets. Okay. And um, doing some painting. I got to do some painting All right. as well. I was painting uh, loads of World War Two American soldiers. Loads of them. Loads of them. Loads and loads. I probably painted sixteen while I was there. Okay. Uh, for my book. Perfect. Yeah. So. Anybody watching that back the book is going, yes. Yes. Progress. Yes. Actually, I have a photo I should have posted today. But you still can. I still can. This Day's is not true. over. This is true. <laughs> also, also oh, Natasha oh, asked, um, Rick and Dave, did you see the beginning of the last show? Of the last painting, Happy Little Minis? No. What we did is we flew in the title cards for you guys. Yeah. And Natasha has like a mustache on her finger. It's funny. It's funny. And they're like, hi, I'm Rick and I'm Dave. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And Gretchen put on glasses. So she's like, <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. I will have to go back and watch cool that. Cool or yeah. cold? <laughs> One or the other. I love it. I'm sure it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. And James asks, Rick, were you a part of the kilt blowing contest at Dragon Con? No, I was not. However, I can't say that I might have known some people that participated, but I might have known some people that participated. And, uh, that's a. That's not really my my thing. <laughs> so. What what's this contest? It's it's a, a kilt and corset party. Oh, okay. That they have at Dragon Con every year, right. and uh, they take like leaf blowers. Oh, okay. And blow up the kilts of the guys. Right. Good. In in some sort of like competition -y thing <laughs> to see who's who's true to how it should be worn, I guess. That's interesting. Have yeah. you ever been to a Highland festival? I have. Where they, my favorite are the games. Yeah. Yep. Where they I, just like. The caber toss haul, and all that stuff. Right? I was going to say, heavy so. things. <laughs> Rick's tossed many cabers in his, in I his have. time. I've done caber tossing. Nice. I don't know if that's 
I'm not even going to go anywhere with that. <laughs> I thought I'd throw it out there. Let's yeah. see what you wanted but to do with it. <laughs> Excellent. Also, Peter says, I picked up the trap set from Terrain Crates. Nice. Cool. Yeah, that's a good one. I like all the, like all the spikes and the pit traps and everything that they kind of represent in there. Also, Carrie says, I had a good time playing with my D&D &D yesterday, or group, um, in which my bard may have started a riot in a part pirate town and they may have burned down the mayor's house and then well maybe we just left the town instead of trying to find the mayor. Sounds like a lot of maybes going on there. Uh, uh, allegedly. I think the, the, right. le the legal term is allegedly. <laughs> that's a, uh, yeah that's a, were you trying really hard to do that or was that just a, a series of unfortunate events? Which uh, We can't really talk about because that's copyrighted. <laughs> No, Lemony Snicket's a series of oh, unfortunate events. Oh, okay. Uh, Simon has a question. Do you chaps use a painting miniature holder? I'm now looking to get one. Um, the Games Workshop one looks good, but I've been just using a cork, blue tack, and tacks. Right. If that works for you, you know, it, it, this is the Citadel one from Games Workshop. It's actually a really nice miniature holder um, and it's super inexpensive you can get it at your local game store yep. um, I don't think yeah I do I have a have any of that? I, do. I have a little mini here Excellent. so yeah you can just stick your mini on there and there you no. go looks good, good to go oh. wait a close cam and don't judge this paint job on this particular knoll by the way this is the one that I painted while we were driving to uh, uh, was it Gen Con no no origins origins yeah so I, was, I painted this while in the car, live. It was ridiculous. That's one of your better, uh, better jobs. <laughs> one of my better jobs. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Dave. No worries. <laughs> you yeah. are welcome. Let's have a look. Yeah. Rick, it's actually not that bad. The only thing worse than that paint job is the actual stream when we tried to do that on the road. That's true. All right, yeah. yeah that, was, <laughs> that was painful. Driving through the booties of Ohio. And West Virginia. West Virginia. But the best part was, is like we would be able to stream for a minute, and yep. every time that we reestablished connection, Rick would always say without <laughs> fail, "Sorry about the little dropouts, everyone. Sorry about." So we're going to continue painting, and then it would just go out. Just drop out. And so then it would go by, and then Rick would say, "Sorry about the dropouts, everyone. So continuing the painting, and it's out again." <laughs> so it's so repeating the same. So I'm stuck in a low. So if you go back and watch the video, it's actually it takes out all the dropouts and stitches all the actual live parts together. So it's just nothing but like half an hour of apologies. Rick, Rick apologizing. Nice. That does sound pretty funny. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. Yeah, one of the viewers was like, "I like painting happy little minis, but this is painful." <laughs> this is painful. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> They're like, "Bye." <laughs> <laughs> We had to at least give it a try, you know, the, the good old college try. Yep. Also, Carl says, I got the Citadel holder for minis, but I don't like it as much as my paint and pots with blue tack. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. I think what, what, we've, what I've heard from quite a few of my friends who got the Citadel uh, mini holder is they bought 10. Yep. So they could put a whole squad of Space Marines on and have them all on the go at the same time rather than have to switch out in between models. So, uh, yeah. Hey, good amazing. job, Games Workshop. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually uh, gifted a miniature holder. I gave you one? Well, on the weekend. Let me finish my sentence. I paused at the wrong time, obviously. Yeah, you did. It's not quite the Shatner pause, but. Right. So, you got, you got gifted it, one this weekend? Yeah, from uh, Game Envy. Okay. So, the hobby holder. Which has got one that has a little, um, little sort of extension piece. Oh, the finger up. rest. Yeah, so you can hold it in your hand. Yeah. Like. Mm -hmm. So. But yeah. not actually. No, still sort of avoid touching the, the miniature. Okay. So. But I think for myself, I've been painting many so long without one. That it just feels super strange to have it in my hand. Uncomfortable. Yeah. Just yeah. just just odd. Yeah. I can see that. 
Also, a thousand year beard says hello, everybody. It's a beautiful day here in Seattle. Ooh. I think I might bust out some brushes and paint something in the sunlight. Well, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. It's not how are raining. the uh, how are the fires going oh, out there? Hmm? I said womp. I don't womp, know. Womp. Yeah. Hopefully they're dying down. Hey, Dave. Something crazy. Yeah? This actually brings up a good question. So painting in the sunlight versus painting indoors, do you have to like consider paint application like, from different light sources versus indoor versus outdoors? Um, you do. You probably end up with, um, I, I think it's one of those things that whenever you move a model from the light source, the light sourcing where you painted it to somewhere else, it's going to look different. Um, as far as considering it, just it's, it's really as long as you understand that it's going to look a little bit different. Um, that's the sort of the first thing. I know uh, that there are some some painters, uh, competitive painters, who will sort of go to competition. They'll they'll see how the judges, what sort of light conditions the judges judge under, and then they'll try and paint under those conditions, so they know exactly what the judges are going to be seeing. Wow. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit intense for me. Uh, but no, it is. It is going to be different. Uh, hardcore. Hmm? Hardcore. Yeah, it's Painters. hardcore to, to take that sort of yeah. approach. But uh, no, no, quite a few people who have their uh, little tray of um, paints and mm -hmm. whether, that they're going to be working on and uh, working with. They'll take that out onto the the porch or and just sort of kick back with a cup of coffee in the morning and do some painting. And it's a cool idea if you're able to do it. And it's not too hot outside and all mm -hmm. that sort of fun stuff. It's going to be ridiculously hot here in uh, Baltimore today. Blech. Yeah. Nick says the smoke has died down. I live just outside Seattle. Okay, okay. That's cool. So you know. That's good. Also, um, Craig asks, what are we painting today? Well, it kind of looks like I haven't been painting anything for the last 20 minutes. But we are painting some terrain crate 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, items by Mantic Games. I am doing the portal, so I'm doing this yep. right here. And uh, Dave is working on. I have a summoning circle. I have a sarcophagus. And I have a set of sort of stakes and chains. Look at that. So, yeah, as soon as these dry, I'll be able to get in. And do some more painting. <laughs> do some work. Jesus. Do some actual work, yeah. <laughs> Rather just kicking back. <laughs> Relaxing. Excellent. So what did you get up to then? Dragon Con. At Dragon weekend. Con? So I went there and um, I helped out my friend Jeff Kaufman of Big City Comics Studios. Okay. Cool. So he, um, before I ever got a job working here for, you know, where, I, where we work here, uh, <laughs> for Diamond and Alliance and everything. And GTM. DTM. Yeah. Um, I did cosplay photography yeah. and uh, at a booth at Dragon Con with Jeff Kaufman. Okay, right here. And uh, that's how I got found, if you will. You know. Discovered. Discovered. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, thank uh, God it wasn't a casting couch situation. Yep. <laughs> I'll never tell those stories. And uh, Thank you. Yeah. And uh, so... It was just nice to go back to Dragon Con and kind of just hang out with, with Jeff and uh, help him sell his graphic novels. He's a writer. Cool. Um, technically, he's a lawyer down in Orlando. Okay. And, but he also writes graphic novels. and uh, So I helped him hustle that, take some pictures. We had a big 10 foot by 10 foot inflatable dragon in the booth. And uh, people stopped by and got their picture taken with the dragon. Cool. And everything. So it was a lot of fun in that regard. But I was down there on vacation. Right. Um, but even in vacation mode, I still took meetings and spoke with some folks on some cool projects uh, that are going to potentially be coming to fruition for 2019. Awesome. For not just uh, GTM, but also for maybe Previews World and Comic Wow and oh, cool. all the other entities that we kind of play in here. And uh, yeah, so that was kind of cool. But my, my biggest fun thing with it being vacation, I... I posted up some stuff on my page yep. of, of an item that I got recently. So there's a new, there's a D&D &D art book coming out later this year in November, maybe late October, early November. 
called The Art and Arcana, uh, A Visual History of Dungeons and & Dragons. And this is the, so I got, a, I got an advanced reader copy, and then I got this. And this right. is the prototype mock-up yep. that uh, Penguin Random House would have out at their booths at trade shows to let um, potential buyers from the different, comp uh, like Books a Million, Barnes & Noble, um, another retailers uh, see this is what it's going to kind of look like it's going to be about this big have this cover here's some page concepts that you will see inside of it right and then the rest of it's just filler paper all blank pages right to show that this is how big of a tome this is going to be and it is this big it's that's huge, huge. Yeah. Um, so I decided with the prototype mock-up that I would go to different artists and people within the industry and get some uh, original artwork. I think it's a super cool idea. Yeah. I like it. So <laughs> the first know? one, oh, okay, so I got an autograph first. And this is from Seth uh, Polanski, who uh, him and his wife are working on, I'm gonna get Kelly's uh, on here as well next time I see her. They're working on The Eye of the Beholder, which is the documentary that they did on the art of Dungeons and Dragons, okay. like a film documentary, yep. cool. uh, which comes out later, I, I wanna say in December. But the first, piece of art that I got done is right here. It's Larry Elmore. And I went up there and I was just, hey Larry, you know, we talked, I showed him the book and everything and he's really excited about it. Yep. And I go, can I get your signature in it? And he goes, sure, but you know what? Let me just draw you this amazing freaking <laughs> wizard. And I'm like, uh, uh, getting all excited about it. And then I go and I see Govar, who was also at Dragon Con, and uh, he threw in this Dragon. Awesome dragon. Yeah. Very cool. Right there. Like did it while I was just standing there. And then uh, I think the next one is, it is. So at the end of the show, uh, on the, yesterday on the last day, there wasn't a lot of time to get anything like to ask Brom. Okay. Who was yep. there, if he could do like a, a nice, take his time and do a nice little remark. I said, Brom, give me a 60, 60 second sketch. He's like, 60 seconds? I was like, yeah. And he, mm -hmm. So he made me this little demon <laughs> by Brom, awesome. which is kind of cool. But if you guys know Brom's artwork, he is ridiculously good. Yeah. Uh, so it was just kind of fun to have a comical, whimsical piece done by Brom. That is cool. And then uh, Walpole, uh, Walpole, who does um, some other D&D and Match the Gathering stuff, did this amazing mind flare, uh, or a lithid from Dungeons & Dragons. It's just... A amazing piece and then finally Steve Hazelbeck who does a lot we did like Chandra Blaze a lot of the Planeswalkers did this cool portrait of a, of a character right there so those are the, the the pieces I got done at Dragon Con and as the con season continues and into next year I hope to maybe get all the pages filled up with original artwork and that that'll be, be a really cool um, oh yeah, yeah thing to have yeah. amazing thing to yeah. have on your shelf so yeah, that's why I was geeking out pretty hard. Yeah, for sure, I can imagine. Because <laughs> there was, I there, can was imagine. there was like ten other artists in in the fine art gal al you know alley. Um, right, artist alley. Yeah, well, there's two artist alleys. Okay, right. you have comic book art, right. which was on the fourth floor of the like the vendors hall, right. and then in the high in the basement or yep. the lowest level of the Hyatt where they have um, they have the uh, art. Walk of Fame type thing, so okay. all the you know, Brahm and um, just these super high end, like fine artists. Right. Not, not that comic book artists aren't fine artists as well, but these were just a different. It's just as you guys. Like Tim Fleming or Tom Fleming was down there as well, and so, uh, but there was a lot of individuals that had worked on D and D. I just didn't have time to see them all and right. do everything else. So. Awesome. Yeah. And then, of course, there was a bazillion cosplayers. Right. And by a bazillion, I mean 80,000. 80,000 cosplayers. Yeah. Amazing. So. Insane. Yeah. And we'll be putting some pictures up. I'll put some in the Pain Happy Minis of, like, I'll, I'll go through and I'll find my top five. Right. And I'll put them in there. And then the rest of them you can find on, like, um, I'm going to, like, sprinkle them all over, like, Previews World, Comic Wow, and uh, Geektography. Cool. So... Excellent. Yeah. It was super cool. Man, I'm at the point. Oh, maybe I can get this side. No, it's not dry yet. The, uh, yeah, Nova Open wasn't quite as big. Mm -hmm. There was about 3,000 people. It was all in the, uh, the Hyatt Regency uh, at Crystal City. 
and it's kind of it's really weird sort of going into it because mm -hmm. they've got loads of um, ballroom space and that sort of thing on okay. the bottom floor and then the next floor up there's another huge ballroom and uh, that's where they have the like the capital palette and the uh, charity raffle stuff right. is there as well and then the next floor up is the lobby the floor up after that is like the restaurant and they had a hobby area okay hobby haven area that was uh, sponsored by army uh, the army painter oh nice and uh, where you could go and sit down and mm -hmm. do some painting and that sort of thing, um, touch up your models. Uh, there was one point where somebody had come along, it was their first time at the convention, and mm -hmm. they had an unpainted army. But, and the rules say you have to have a painted army. Right. So uh, rather than have the guy miss out on everything, um, Adam from the army painter was there and okay. said, okay, well, let's get some, get, let's get some paint on your models. Right. So they sat down together for like an hour and a half, got it, washes on some of the models and got some basing done and that sort of mm -hmm. thing. And the guy was able to go back into the, nice. the tournament, which was super cool. That is cool. Well, so I was going to ask you who, there, who was there from uh, army right. painter. Yep. And then uh, up on the third floor were the seminar rooms and uh, for all the, what else was up there, Shadespire, Destiny, Star Wars Destiny. Oh, wow. Um, but yeah, lots of things uh, going on. But it very, like a very vertical stack. Right. Which is quite a bit different to something like Adepticon, which is very broad. Broad and spread yeah. out. So. That's cool. And Gen Con, of course, which is yeah. very insanely spread yeah. out. <laughs> well, yeah, Dragon Con takes over a lot. Five hotels. Right. And all their ballrooms and all that stuff. Yeah. The Amerimart or America's Mart in uh, downtown Atlanta, which is like their convention center, which is all these hotels connect to, and, it's, and they have four buildings for that. Oh, so wow. building one was all the gaming, so they had video games, yep. tabletop or RPGs going on in that. Building two was the vendor's hall, right. which was four floors of vendor hall. Four floors of Four floors. That's amazing. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and then uh, building three had some other stuff going in it, but, and I think building four had a whole different event. Right. Not even Dragon Con related. So we don't talk about them. Okay. <laughs> also, by the way, Dave Craig says you, you should paint some dried blood on those steaks. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Craig also says, FYI, Rick, we finally got a gaming store here in my town. What? So instead of driving an hour and a half or more away, I can walk five minutes and get stuff. Nice. That's awesome. What's the name of the store? That is a good question. Comment below. Um, Michael <laughs> also says, I recently started to paint my Mortian. M-O-R-T-I-A-N. I don't know if that's a misspelling. M-O-R. Mortian. It looks like a multi-year project. Mortarian. 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 Maybe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge model. Huge. We had one of those that we raffled off on the weekend. So oh, nice. Painted by uh, Duncan Rhodes, who is the uh, guy who does a lot of painting on Warhammer TV for uh, okay. Games Workshop. All their fun top tips and that sort of thing. But did you get a chance to? Don't Duncan was there. Did you chat with him? I did not. I did not. He was he was incredibly busy the whole time. I can believe that. It's called Retro Toys and Games. Nice. Retro Toys and Games. That's a cool name. So, And yes, it was the, whatever you said. Motarian. Motarian yeah. model. Cool. I painted one of those earlier this year. And you said no more? No more. <laughs> one was enough. <laughs> when it assembled, it stands about that tall. has these wow. huge wings out the back. And yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> and it's um, really brilliantly done. Uh, so you've got the, the wings, and it's floating, mm -hmm. but it's held to the base by, basically these, the robes sort of hang down. Okay. And so the, these little strips of cloth come down and sort of fold around, and that's what attaches it to the base. Nice. It's got this, got a great presence to it, but. Um, kind of like the Titan, um, as far as presence goes? Uh, well, not, not quite as big as the Warlord. Yeah. Titan, but that was one of the things that, the, uh, that we did. 
uh, the president of the Nova Open Charitable Foundation, Laurie Brandt, mm -hmm. um, she went and bought a spinner that um, would certainly put the Elon Musk spinner to shame. I don't think that's true. No, it is true. Uh, <laughs> it was this big, <laughs> this big around, right? Okay. And it was designed to have mannequins. Oh, okay. Yeah. On it and rotating. Mm -hmm. So this thing that's probably, it's going to be a good 40 pounds. Yeah. Of resin just on this thing spinning around and we she got a uh, acrylic case to put over it and little LED strip lighting Jeez. so people could walk up to it really close like be this far away from it and not touch it that's cool which was, was definitely good made for a safe uh, safe environment the, which the Titan appreciated yeah for sure. <laughs> sure Jordan says that's a brilliant shade of green thanks um, also, Michael says I'll post a picture of it later. Oh, cool! There, oh, the there, Mortarian? Michael. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's a yeah. It's definitely a lot of. It's got a lot of work in it. It's, uh, it's so many different pieces and textures and all sorts of cool stuff. Seth Polanski says I hope you had fun in DC. I'm leaving you running in the background as I redline contracts. Nice. Right. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's good. I, I think this is my this is my my fifth year at Nova. At Nova, yeah, it must be my fifth. And year And you at ran Nova. the charity, hmm? right? You were in charge of the whole charity stuff. Uh, no, I, well, no, we have a, a board. There are four of us. Mm -hmm. uh, we all sort of talk about decisions and that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, I got my fancy. Hmm? Fancy. Fancy. I know. As soon as you say, "I'm on the board," what does that mean? You get to do a lot of work. <laughs> For a uh, for a charity he, organization, but he's not complaining. Oh, everybody. Dragon Con, sorry, not DC. Oh, DC. Sorry, oh. by the oh. way, I said oh, DC, well. but he meant Dragon Con. Right. Okay. Mm. Sorry. Rather than Friends. District of Columbia. Yeah. So easy to get them confused. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I guess I was in Northern Virginia, not actually in mm. DC. But there's yeah. a difference. But now I get to wrangle all of the artists. Okay. So. You call them up. Hmm. I said, do you call them up? No. Cold call? No. Hello. Hello. My name's Dave. G'day. <laughs> That's an awesome British accent. <laughs> <laughs> Best British accent I've heard this morning, this afternoon, whenever. It's probably the only British accent you've heard this afternoon. <laughs> it's true. That's hilarious. Well done. Thank you. Do I sound like that? Is that how I sound to you? No. Okay, good. <laughs> wow. I just can't do an Australian accent. <laughs> Start off with the, the famous crikey. Yeah. That sounds right. I mean, that sounded like, whoa. Whoa, like I was almost Australian. Almost Australian. <laughs> you sound like you could be Australian. Crikey. Crikey. Well, let me tell you a little secret. So are you dry okay, brushing I'm, I'm now? Waiting. Hmm? Are you dry brushing now? I am dry brushing now. I have to wait for the uh, for that wash to dry. So yeah, just dry brushing some ivory over it. So I use the seraphim sepia to start with. Oh, there we go. Come back there. And now dry brushing some of the Vallejo ivory over it. Check out the texture there. Are you going to add more lining to the yep. in ingrained? Yeah, I'm gonna add. Um, I want to do like a mix of uh, some gold lines, so, so some like inlaid gold lines, and some uh, in some in this color, the Vallejo blue green. Okay. Which is really looks very blue on there, but it's got a nice sort of touch of green. It works well for. Glowing bits also. Is that the same one? I think it's the same one. There we go. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I have a rummage through my new paint box. Check that out. <laughs> Just look at it from the side. Normally Dave doesn't show his paint box because Pardon? it's not... A, I said normally you don't show your paint box because... It wasn't a real paint box. It was a falling apart piece of <laughs> postal service equipment. Upgrade. It was a plastic bag. <laughs> I had that since like November last year. 
Yep. Oof. How about that? That's dedication. Yep. I've gone through what four paint stands since you <laughs> yeah, know me. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'd like to think that I'm frugal. I can't find my gold. So. You don't have your gold. I don't have my gold. I might have to go with the brassy brass. Let's All right. I know you love that. I do love brassy brass. That's such a good one. It was a cool one. All right. There we go. I'm trying to give this thing that swirly look. A swirly look. Yeah, I'm trying to remember all those times that my cousin and his friends would give me a swirly in freshman year high school. <laughs> Was that the color of the water? Ew. Yeah, it's Michigan, dude. <laughs> you know how Michigan water is. Actually, I was first thinking when you start, um, started putting it all together, it looked a little Rick and Morty, that portal. Ah, uh, yes. That's what I was thinking. But no, it's looking really good. Yeah. It's like I could almost dive into it. Almost, but not quite. We're not there yet. Where would you have that portal lead to? Uh, probably to Nirvana. Yeah? Yeah, what a great place to go. Um, or the Happy Hunting Grounds. Right. Or Valhalla. Any one of those places. Right. Or just maybe a teleporter to get someone from one side of the realms to the other. Don't, we, don't you wish we had something like that? <laughs> totally. <laughs> I think I want to go hang out with my friends in San Diego today. Boom. Boom. There we go. Through the portal. Or hey, we've got to go to the uh, Alliance Open House tomorrow. Yeah, let's Broken. just portal over there. <laughs> let's take a portal to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Or we could fly. Yeah, but the Thank thing you. about using portals is even if there was the capability of doing that, instead of the traffic, it'd just be a line of traffic to get to the portal. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's true. You'd have to keep it secret. Keep it safe. Yeah. Wow. Lord of the Rings? Yep. <laughs> keep it secret. Keep it safe. If you had a lot of them, though, Johnny, I think you'd have to go that way. If you only had a few... There'd be long lines, but you know. It's kind of like the flu powder. Flu powder. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm thinking. Yeah, Harry Potter. Do it that way. Diagonally. <laughs> no. <laughs> what, um, so who else is in the chat? Uh, Chilling out. Michael says, if I had a portal, I would want it from home to work. Maybe I could save a lot of time. Yes. Um, Practical yeah. portals. Practical portal. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Practical Portals. The portal's just for you. Let's get you from one place to the other. The places you want to go, the places you want to see. Yeah, that would be perfect. It'd be even better to have an actual portal gun, like the game Portal. Right? I love that game. By What's that? Way. I said I love that game, that by game. the way. <laughs> Which is, just so you know, my favorite cosplay of Dragon Con was from Portal. I was going to say, that picture looks really? amazing. Yeah. That's GLaDOS. Weird. Okay. I didn't see it. So. You haven't seen it? No. Of course. Not yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. uh, she did a really I, good job on the that. The Crafting News says I'm editing a video while I watch. Nice. Oh, cool. Vanessa. Someone cosplayed as GLaDOS. That's pretty cool. Uh, so no. Or the actual girl. Uh, the girl, it was a girl dressed up like Gladys who, who was on these like stilts, those running stilts. Uh, and she was like seven and a half feet tall. She's already like six foot one, six foot two, the girl that actually cosplays. Because uh, you know who it was? Armor Class 10? Yep. The girl that does a lot of, that's always at their booth, the tall cosplayer? Yep. You've met her. Johnny, I'm looking at Johnny, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> Johnny, you've met her. She's she she works for Armor Class Ten, the T-shirt company. No, I've never been by the booth. They came by our booth at uh, PAX last year. How could you forget her? You're, I don't know. I don't we're sorry. Uh, we're just sorry that he forgot you. He's, he's <laughs> the worst. But uh, 
but she because I spent all day looking at a screen. <laughs> That's true. Um, That's cool though. Yeah, it was amazing. And uh, if you, if you go over to Geektography, which is my my personal page, um, you'll see that uh, she's my cover photo now, and uh, I put a bunch of other little shots of her in there as well. Cool. Yeah. That's one where I've probably seen it, but. I don't remember which one it is because I don't know the portal. That's okay. Yeah. For now. <laughs> For now. Okay. Oh yeah, I see it now. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. That's great. But uh, the masquerade, actual co uh, cosplay competition they have there, yeah. was won by a girl. I don't know her name, and I apologize for not having that information. But she dressed up as the Angel of Death from Hellboy 2. Okay. You know, where she, where Hellboy yep. has that dagger bit, or yep. knife bit in his shoulder and psh, okay. takes it out? Yep. That Angel of Death, right. and it looked legit. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. See, I've seen that film. Okay, I figured, you, cool. I figured you'd seen at least that <laughs> one. Oh, wait, I saw that person at um, San Diego. Were they at San Diego? Yeah, I saw them walking back to the hotel. That was amazing. Yeah, they won the, the masquerade at Dragon Con. And, you know, I had to say, like, deservingly so. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, I like the blue. Yeah. I think it works pretty well alongside the brass. And I figured I'd just lay in these these lines first, and I can go back and have a look at the other lines and work out if I'm going to do some more brass or more blue. What do you think? Oh, yeah, that looks great. It pops right off there. Yeah. Excellent. And then, uh, hung out with a, a young lady who works in the film industry who's yeah. uh, had some really great ideas on some stuff that we could be doing. Oh, cool. And uh, Jordan is her name. She was in the chat, I believe, earlier. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. We're getting the symbol. We've got only a little bit of time left. Oh, is it a signal? Yeah, Dynamic. I know. Five minutes. That's good. <laughs> the uh, Warhammer community team were at uh, Nova Open as well. Doing okay. lots of coverage and nice. different bits and pieces. They did some announcements on Wednesday night and all that sort of stuff. Okay. But one of the things that they've done there the last couple of years is they have a green screen. Okay. And sort of life-size space marine weapons. Okay. So the big bolt guns and mm -hmm. chainsaws, chainsaws and that sort of thing. Yeah. So you can get your photo taken in front of that. Okay, cool. And then the slide in some awesome backgrounds. Uh, so they had that, but the guy, uh, James, who was doing it, said, hey, do you think it would be possible if we can get the, the Titan in? We'll put it on a... Um, on the spinner? Uh, no, I'd put it on a, a board and on a table and bring it forward so that a nice sort of smooth green screen behind it, mm -hmm. and he took a whole bunch of photos. So hopefully that'll go up on the uh, the Warhammer community page soon. Oh yeah, that, be, that'll be super really cool. sweet. Very nice. And then that takes us to our normal end of show discussions, oh. which is. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. But if you'd like to see more amazing paints and everything, go to our Painting Happy Little Minis Facebook group where you'll see all of the community that has come together um, and posted up all their amazing paints. If you have questions, if you're new to the painting hobby, everybody in there is really nice and there's lots of great advice and great techniques that are being shared. Um, it's, it's just a great community to be a part of. And we appreciate everybody that joins up and participates. Yep. So. Definitely cool. I think we went, I think 
over the weekend we went over 500 members. Nice. In the group, so. Yeah. Maybe we should do a call. Cool that was really thing. fun. We should do a giveaway, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should quite. figure something out. We'll figure something out over the week. Over. Yeah, while we're at the open house. While we're at the open yeah, house. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find some stuff there that we can... Give away next, uh, next week. Yeah. Make it a uh, group exclusive giveaway. That would be cool. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, very exciting. And the other thing is we'd like to say thank you to Mantic for giving us the opportunity to paint these amazing uh, miniatures for part of their Terrain Crate series. Uh, if you want to find out more about that, go over to manticgames.com or just type it in Google, Mantic Games, and you'll find out about all the cool product coming out of their, uh, you know, brain trust of ideas. Do you want to put the portal on? On what? The spinner. On the spinner, on the spinner? sure. On the spinner? The spinner dead. <laughs> I didn't turn the spinner on. Yeah. Spinner dead. <laughs> Elon Musk spinner. That was fantastic, uh, Billy Bob. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Sorry that, that sorry that the camera's twitching, but. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. We got a few little touch ups on the rock, but. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Good. Um, we also would really appreciate it if uh, you haven't gone to your local game store in a while, go back and check it out. And uh, if you haven't yep. gone to your local game store, take some pictures while you're there of the of standing outside. Let's see where you call your third place. And uh, let's take a look at the. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult, I think, yep. to capture on the camera. Can but you just hold, just up, hold it up and I'll oh, zoom okay. in on it? Okay. He's like. Oh. You don't have to hold it that far away. Sure. There we go. Oh no, the star's upside down. There we go. <laughs> I don't know which way the symbols go. That's a start. I think I'd probably end up doing a few more uh, of the blue lines okay. around the outside. Yeah. To mess around with that. I didn't get enough time. What I was hoping to do, I'm going to put this on the spinner though. So. Oh, yeah. It looks like almost flesh. Almost flesh. Stretched across <laughs> the stone. What I was hoping to do is um, you know, put some uh, black, like a black wash over it. Okay. And make those the shadows really dark. Oh, yeah. And then once that dries, hit it with another dry brush again, and then probably put a gloss finish over it. Okay. So it's kind of like a crazy bloodstone. Oh, uh, slicked, kind of slicked with blood? No, 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 just a... It's carved out of a... No, in my imagination, I'm thinking, oh, oh, slicked with blood from all the sacrifices. Now we have to send the party of adventurers in to destroy this evil being. Okay. That's where my mind went. Sure, yeah. mine was a completely different place. <laughs> Such is life. As I we guess know. we're both thinking blood, though, right? Yes, absolutely. That's kind of too far, too far off. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So, yeah, go to your local game store, become a part of the community there. Uh, again, take pictures, send us pictures. We, we love to see it, and we'll yep. give some shout-outs on Board Games and Beyond to the, some of the uh, uh, stores that you guys go to and frequent, yep. which That'd is super cool. cool. Yep. Yeah. So uh, what do you? What, what some closers you got there, Dave? Anything? Some closers I've got? Yeah, anything you no, want to I, say? You, you, know, you know I always get it wrong at the end anyway. Oh. Whenever you're not here, I can't get it right. You do it right. You do fine. I do okay. Yeah. And do if okay. any of you were uh, participants in the Nova Open uh, charitable foundation raffles. Uh, raffles. Thank you yep. so much. Uh, it is highly appreciated because uh, all that money goes to amazing causes. And yep, thank, sure. thank you, Dave, for being a part of you know building that kind of community, yeah, that's which is awesome. amazing. Uh, it just puts everything we do as far as gaming because there was many many years where gaming wasn't in quite the the, the bright light it is today. This and is true. It's, and it's stuff like this that keeps us in those bright lights. So, awesome. Good cool. job, Dave. Excellent. And. <laughs> We are going to be gone this week. Oh! So we leave tomorrow to go to the Alliance Open House, which is up in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We will be filming a special edition. It won't be live um, from the Open House, but we will be doing something painting okay. uh, up painting there uh, for you guys' consumption. And it should be interesting because WizKids is going to be doing a paint and take there. Oh, okay. And so it would be interesting to see what they're... With them. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Let's see what, they, what they're going to bring. Uh, I think it has... It, it's usually a update or something new to a new 
phase of the Knowles Wars Marvelous miniatures are deep cuts. Okay. So Great. it's going to be all new miniatures usually, yep. which is a lot of fun. Um, on that note, this has been Painting Happy Little Minis. I'm Dave. And I'm Rick. We'll see you at the game store. <laughs> <laughs>